Hey guys, today I'm trying a different pouring medium. I was fighting with a mix of more glue all. I've decided to do a little less glue all and add in a little flow troll. I haven't used flow troll in a while, but these paints just had so much, so many bubbles, just chocked full of bubbles. And then when I do the flip cup or ring pour, whatever it was, I couldn't even get all the bubbles out with a torch. It was just ridiculous. And it was just mixing up really thick. I had to add a lot of water. Anyway, so I'm using 60% glue all, 10% uh, flow troll, and 30% water. And this is the culprit, the fine touch acrylics. Um, yeah, but they are so much creamier and thinner. This is the violet. This is a mix of ocean and cyan. Um, this is cadmium orange, and this is a mix of their titanium white with a little red. And of course, this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. All of these are mixed 50-50 with that pouring medium. But uh, the white, I don't know if you can see that, the white is the thinnest, and the others are not far behind. They're all about the same. And this is a 10 by 20, so I didn't really work out, I was so worried about my consistency, I didn't really work out how much paint I would need, so I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, and then put my silicone in. I'll be back. Okay, I worked out that I should need about 500 milliliters for this canvas, but these cups are about 200 a piece, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's better to have a little more than not enough. And this is the order I'm gonna go in because I know purple and orange will make mud may make mud anyway, but...
trying to get some more cells to come up. weird shadow right here. See it? It's like, what is that? What's that about? <laughs> just pour the weird shadow off. I'm just going to pour the weird shadow off. I, I keep whispering, forgetting that I'm recording my sound here. Weird shadow. And cells are getting kind of sickle celly looking. That's what I call them when they kind of get that stretched look. Like right there. Sickle celly. I'm going to leave him alone. This one has a little bullseye to him. You may not be able to see him that well. But he's really cute. Right there, he's got blue for a center of the bullseye. And then white. Anyway. Get over it. Okay, I'm going to do the sides and then we'll take our close-up pictures. I think this pouring medium is going to work though. Okay, I've got the flash on because uh, It's dusk outside. Oh, you just saw my camera set up there. I think I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> I really like it. I think it's cute.